Hello, good morning. It's uh, Neil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Thursday, the uh, 25th, or shall we say the uh, 25th, yes, the 25th of February, 2016. Okay, now let's try and uh, decipher exactly what's happening here. Um, we have a um, for multiple variables, basically, it's like a... Um, What's the best way of describing this now? Um, okay, it's like being in a, in, a, in a canoe and you're constantly hit by currents from either side and you're unable or unsure um, which way to navigate or which direction you're going to go, okay? So let me try and sum this up, okay? Uh, before I do, oh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs. Uh, obviously, they're specialists in spread betting and CFD brokerage. Certainly take advantage of that 25% cash bonus offer. Alternatively, visit the uh, educational site www.cfds.education to certainly learn more. Okay, right. Uh, the endorsement's over. Let's start trading. Okay, so uh, first of all, a US markets, a very, very stellar rally, very, very impressive rally overnight. Uh, I mean, certainly caught me off guard. I was stopped out as well uh, multiple times last night on the, on the rally, uh, given the uh, ferocity of the rally as well. I mean, you can see this pivot low. We closed the gap at 1896 and then we just basically blasted off uh, we're currently 1930 is your key and important resistance zone given the fact that uh, historically there's a zone here at 18, 1928 1930 is as held uh, now it is also the, the fib 75 percent resistance as well and given the pivot high to pivot low okay and you do have an unfilled gap below at 1864 now given the fact that the shanghai index is down almost six percent overnight uh, the Shenzhen and the Hang Seng all absolutely um, uh, obliterated overnight, uh, given the fact that the Hang Seng down 1.6%, the Shanghai down 6.4%, and we already know what the Chinese jitters can do to global markets. We had the Nikkei up by 224 points, up by 1.4%, but that certainly lost steam towards the close after hours, given the fact that Mr. Kuroda certainly came out and his uh, comments were very anti-QE in nature and we had another chap from uh, BOJ board member Mr. Kyuchi and his comments were certainly negative as well in terms of additional QE and Mr. Kuroda certainly talked up his potential negative interest rates so certainly no bazooka being fired there nor was there any potential intervention in the uh, the yen either okay right so we be basically talking about the benefits of QE no not the benefits of QE sorry the benefits of negative interest rates and there's no mention of QE and obviously we all know that's positive for the yen. Okay, so uh, the yen, yen, yen. Now, the yen is uh, the most important uh, variable here because you can see on the daily chart, we broke out. You can look at the daily chart as well, 60-minute chart, daily chart. We're threatening that to pivot top or topping tail. Uh, certainly are attempting to take that out. You can see the four-hour chart. We've certainly broke above. Uh, it's a classical concept of previous uh, resistance equals support. So we're testing the breakout level. Now, given the fact that the Shanghai is down almost 6.5% overnight, very negative. Also, given the fact that BOJ board members, their comments were anti-QE in nature and therefore um, considered to be hawkish in terms of the yen, that should certainly send the yen higher and send global markets into a risk off mode okay no no comments overnight that indicated that the yen would certainly fell off nothing like that from what i can understand okay all the comments and basically the market or price action globally indicates that the yen is certainly going to appreciate here and potentially make a new high okay now if the yen makes a new high we all know what that what happens then uh, the markets obviously go into a risk off mode also with regards to the euro usd we're well, given the fact that we're talking about europe here the euro usd is still holding that 1.01 level now i'll certainly declare my bias i am long the uh, the euro so i'll certainly uh, declare my bias straight away uh, but at this current juncture you can see there's an inverted head and shoulders formation now we did have german uh, consumer confidence i think this morning certainly come out better than expected uh, the consumer confidence came in at 9.5 so that certainly is helping the foot the german dax and deutsche telecom certainly purported good earnings as well uh, the, the inflation rate certainly came in line, no uh, no surprises to the downside, so that should certainly help the euro as well. Uh, and we also had uh, GDP out of uh, Spain as well coming in line. Now, the uh, numbers out of um, Sweden certainly are very, very bearish. Uh, industrial production, uh, certainly year on year, month on month, and quarter on quarter, certainly down. Consumer confidence in Italy certainly down. 
uh, and now we've got the money supply data and obviously UK GDP numbers that have come out quite poor as well now total business investment is minus 2.1 percent that's very negative folks okay uh, index of services certainly slightly higher uh, GDP came in more or less in line okay so uh, it's that uh, business investment number that's certainly bearish and that certainly has a bearish slant on the market now overall and net net the uh, UK GD exports as well certainly negative minus 1.5 0.1% .1 and the imports came in at 1.2 and the expected was 1.3 so like I said net net overall the economic data this morning has been negative uh, central banks certainly have been hawkish, which is obviously bearish for the markets. Chinese markets down 6.4%. Euro USD on the verge of coiling and breaking higher as well. As you can see, the 60 minute inverted head and shoulders formation daily chart, you have a, a previous resistance equal support and is holding this key level. And that's certainly indicating a risk aversion trade. Okay, now let's start to see, see the markets from a uh, technical point of view now. Uh, now the euro stock certainly has um, come to a standstill now you obviously you've broken out of this uh, channel here uh, you have gap fill below uh, in this region okay so uh, uh, you are looking at potential support over here so you certainly have put an intraday double top on the um, euro stocks and like i said you are looking at targeting that gap fill at 2820 on the downside for the euro stocks okay uh, looking at the 60 minute chart, the euro stocks again is holding that previous support equals resistance and holding that 38 to 50 percent error resistance. Daily chart, you have the inverted head and shoulders formation, which I explained last time, but you do have an unfilled gap as well at 2750. That's certainly vulnerable to being closed, especially given the fact that uh, we've had the weak. Uh, Chinese close overnight that alone is a catalyst for that, that gap below to close okay now looking at the German DAX German DAX certainly has pushed higher on that stronger consumer confidence number certainly helping to a large extent uh, ever since it closed that gap at uh, 9130 the German DAX certainly has popped okay in the interim you should uh, be expected to potentially close this gap at 9180 once we close that gap then things will certainly become interesting but for now that zone is certainly the potential target for the German DAX. Now looking at the daily chart of the German DAX, yes, you have an inverted head and shoulders formation. You have the unfilled gap below as well. And certainly an argument for that unfilled gap to close before we start to rally, given the fact that the uh, Shanghai is down almost 6.5%. Now the CAC itself has held that gap fill to the resistance level, okay, and certainly is pushing lower. We have an unfilled gap below. That certainly will remain the potential target at the downside. Uh, before we uh, attempt to rally again now the inverted head and shoulders Target was um, 4195 okay, and that certainly remains so so keep an eye out for that potential zone Okay, 60 minute chart of the French cat. Yes, we are holding that fib 61% resistance and that certainly will remain so daily chart is an inside bar and yet we have to see whether or not we can close the gap above again it's similar type of inverted head and shoulders formation okay now the FTSE 100 interesting chart here given the fact that this has been helped by Lloyd's TSB this morning certainly is pushed certainly has pushed higher overall uh, the FTSE certainly has uh, received a lift from there Deutsche Telekom Brit, uh, British American Tobacco RSA insurance CAC employment data etc certainly uh, helping the market potentially short squeeze and shake off the uh, Chinese weakness 60 minute chart the FTSE previous support equals resistance and therefore you are into that fib 75 percent resistance and therefore you are looking at a potential thrust lower before we attempt any real move higher so given the fact that we've still failed to make higher highs and higher lows now we are looking at a lower lower high at that previous fib 75 percent okay now looking at the 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100 you are into previous support equals resistance and therefore looking for a potential thrust lower okay yeah the downside potential you have on the FTSE at this current juncture is around the 5890 5900 zone but bear in mind it has been supported by stronger earnings okay i think that's a market wrap now folks now before i do that I just need to quickly show you the chart of the bond if i can quickly show you the bond euro bonds bear with me bear with me bear with me here we go okay so this is a chart of the euro bond 10 minute chart now the 60 minute chart certainly shows resistance we have still yet to uh, surpass that previous resistance zone okay and that zone is certainly holding now if the bond certainly start to sell off here start to go lower then you are looking at the euro certainly appreciating and moving higher 
So take that into your consideration as well. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. The market certainly is into resistance now, given the fact that Shanghai was down by a whopping 6.5%. You are looking at a, uh, a risk aversion trade dominating for the, uh, for the remainder of the day. Okay, goodbye now.